Hello everyone, welcome to Today in Idiot's Thermoforming. Okay, so I'm not an idiot all, all the time. Here is a build, pla build platform, no, thermoforming platform for um, my medium sheet size. This is what I typically have been using for the last few years now. And this design is something I inherited from the places I had doing thermoforming for me before I got my own equipment. That's the way I reason why I do it this way. Is that a good reason? No. <laughs> I should, should never probably have adopted this. Probably should have thought about this. But now I've got more experience. I've redesigned things, you know, looked at it differently and done something, you know, I think is better. So typically what you have is you have your molder buck attached to a platform like this. And then you have this platform that's going to stay on the thermoforming or vacuum forming machine all the time and it's got a hole in the center that you draw the air or push air in if you're when you're trying to eject the plastic off the mold or buck but this doesn't provide right in here along the perimeter doesn't provide a very good seal for the vacuum necessarily or the eject of the air so you have to come along and you have to use some tape like this along the perimeter and this is my wider stuff I've got thinner stuff but this is exposed to high temperatures and immense pressure and the tape and the adhesive just doesn't hold up. So then what you get is a blow on the side and you aren't getting a very good eject. You're not getting a good, very, very good vacuum. You have to constantly keep coming back and trying to reseal that down again. I've had some other tape that provided pretty good seal. The problem is then later it just leaves um, adhesive residue behind like crazy. Doesn't, doesn't come off very easy, which... I guess in some ways it's good because that's you don't want it to come off during thermoforming, but later when you do, it, it's a pain in the butt. So I had been thinking for a while now, how can I design this better that I don't have to use what I call a consumable. This, this is consumable. It's good one time and then it's gone. I got to keep buying these rolls of tape, which is kind of annoying because they're not super expensive, but they're not cheap either. And this is my design that I've been using. I've got a platform in the medium size like this, and I'm using the exact same sheet dimensions I was using before. I've just changed the platform design a little bit. So here's the smaller one that I have done. And this is using a ring basically instead. And if you notice on that other, other one here, they had kind of fastened this one down at the place ahead first run it around the perimeter to try and get a better seal on it. Um, the other place I had done it, like for this size one, they had just done four corners. When I was running stuff, I did four corners with bolts and they had never put a hole for bolt in the side, so I had done a screw. But this platform actually that this mold and buck is sitting on right now is actually the waste material for me cutting this out. I've got other ones already made up that will fit in here. They fit in nice and tight, which is not really necessary probably, but for right now. And I don't need the tape. I don't need it at all. And the benefit of this is that when it's drawing the vacuum, it's drawing it up here, which will help hopefully evacuate air through here, get a good seal on the top of here. And then when air ejects, it's just gonna assist in pushing the plastic up in this area, so it's a little bit better. Um, this thing bolts down in the four corners. What it is, I just used some, I had on hand some drywall screws to go around the perimeter and then there is some gasket maker, 700 degree temperature resistant copper engine high temp gasket maker stuff that's all around the perimeter underneath this to provide a good seal so it doesn't leak under pressure. And it works really well so far. I haven't had any problems with it. Um, I will have a slow-mo video at the end of this that shows this particular body forming on it. You'll see it does a really great job. Here is the results of one. Let me show you one. Um, there's one you can see. I don't even know if I would have needed the web catchers on this. I probably still would have. Um, you need, I don't do it in the back even though it kind of needs it, but because the customer is going to trim it out here, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and, and to be honest, I wouldn't need it too, f if it was up a little bit high in the corners here for this, the customers don't care if it's a little bit, because it's going to get trimmed off as well. This whole kind of front corner, lower area gets trimmed away. But it looks a little bit nicer, so I do it. Yeah, this came out really, really well. In fact, uh, I, start, I kept decreasing the time in the back that the sheet kind of, I call dwell back there, sits back there. 
and I kept getting very good results. And if you're thinking, if you're new to thermal framing, you think, well, I didn't really form around those web catchers very well. This is, this is the, in case you're new to this too, this is to prevent webbing in the corners here. Um, that's why these blocks are in there. That's because there's no way for air to escape really easily once the plastic seals down in here. There's no holes to evacuate air out so that, of course, it can't get as good a seal um, if things are doing the way, you know, operating the way they should. In the future, as this MDF maybe kind of warps from the heat exposure over time, I may have to put tape along in here, but I'll have to use less tape and it won't be as big of a deal uh, in forming and everything. It won't be blowing out the side. It won't be wasting air out the side. It'll be, you, you know, having air more on the work surface side where it is, can do some good for me, I hope. I think this is a better overall design. Tell me I'm wrong in the comments. Let me know why. Maybe I didn't think of something that you think of. I'm curious to see your thoughts on it or hear your thoughts on it or read your thoughts on it as may be the case. But yeah, I'm gonna do the medium sized one with the showed that first mold and base. I've got a mold and ba or molds already mounted to boards and a new base for it as well. And yeah, if you have any other questions on any thermoforming stuff that I might be able to answer or I can't answer at all, please leave a comment. Have a great day, everybody, and stay healthy.